Hello, I'm Jennifer's father. I'm so proud to be Jennifer's father. <laughs> She's a great young lady, and, and uh, I know you have a lot of enjoyment with her, just like I do. Um, this is a, an interesting story. Um, I want to tell you about a young lady who is about 11 years old, and she has a serious, serious heart condition. And the interesting part about this is the fact that um, we are, uh, I've been involved with a, uh, uh, an event where we help uh, young people in certain ways uh, and, and others. And we generally hold these in a basketball stadium. And so this one particular evening, um, I was getting ready. Uh, we have practice music that we uh, play and I was actually uh, very excited about the evening, but my thought was this. I would like to go to those persons that I personally can help with, help them in one manner or another in various things that we have seen, wonderful things and very surprising events that uh, can happen in people's lives. And so I am uh, behind this stage on the right and practice music is playing. Uh, we're, you know, we're getting ready for people to come in. And um, so what I'm doing is, uh, is getting ready, you know, just like right this moment. I'm not really sure exactly how to do this. <laughs> and I'm very much the same whenever I'm involved in these events that we hold for people. And so <clears throat> uh, I decide uh, that it's time for me to walk out into the, into the audience that is coming and not everybody is seated yet. And now, uh, you know, in this basketball stadium, we, we have uh, probably 12 to 15,000 people that come in from many different places and many different cultures, many different places. And uh, they've heard the testimonies that wonderful things unusual things have happened to people. So they're coming expecting at the same time, not really sure what they do. And so I walk out into um, people that are, are coming in, being seated, and I usually walk to the far back. And that's the section that we have roped off where people come in and uh, they're in dire situations. And so we want to give them a, a certain amount of privacy. And so as I'm walking out, in my mind, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I would love to go just to those people that are ready for me, okay? <laughs> Did you ever think that way? Of course you have, you know, if you do any events or any speaking or any, anything at all like that. And so, uh, as I'm walking out uh, and I'm walking toward the back, I look over to my left and I see a young mom and she's talking to, it appears to be her daughter, and she's, she's near the front of the entire stadium. And, uh, and I look and I thought, my goodness, she's dressed, you know, almost like she's got to come from the gym. She's, she's just very proper, her daughters, and they're laughing and so forth. But I felt, all right, I'll just go and see if this is the people that I'm to talk with. And it sure was. So I walked over, introduced myself, and, uh, um, asked her mom. I said, are you folks here uh, expecting something wonderful to happen? And her mom uh, said yes. And she shows me uh, her daughter's bracelet. And she said, my daughter has had a serious, serious heart condition for a long time. And this is the emergency bracelet that she wears. And if at any time at all she, she has to run to the hospital or go to the hospital, uh, we're able to communicate that, and then um, emergency comes out, takes her to the hospital, because this is very serious. And I go, oh my goodness gracious. And so I thought, I knelt down, and, uh, and I said to Angela, her name's Angela, she's about 11 years old. And I said, Angela, I said, uh, uh, are you in school, or are you being homeschooled, or what is it? And her head dropped down when I said that, and it was as if, it was as if I, there was, 
there was something painful in what I said. And I thought, oh my goodness, you know, I, I don't understand. And so she said to me, yes, I go to public school. And then I caught wind of it. I caught wind of it. You know, when you have a, when you have a young person in school, not everybody is real kind. There are some people who are very unkind. And so I thought, okay, I, I'm just going to ask. I said, uh, would you want to tell me about any individual that has been really treating you wrong at school? And oh, I mean, she, she just started crying. I thought, oh, Lord God Almighty. But this is actually something that's very, very important. And so, as she told me the story, uh, I asked her, I said, Angela, I said, would you like to forgive this person? Would you like to forgive her and release her in your own heart? And she looked at me and she said, uh, yes, I would. I said, may I lead you just in something real simple to say that will help you help you in this and she said yes yes I would really appreciate that and so I did and the moment that I did and she said I forgive and then she named the person I forgive her I, I forgive her she just doesn't understand and I forgive her when she said that it was like the hair rose up on my arms and her mom said to me my goodness, there was something happened in that. Now, we're taught in this wonderful happening of things. If someone has something like this that has happened, let's, let's test it a little bit. So I asked her mom, I said, would it be okay with you if we walked just for a little bit? She said, oh yes, that would be fine. And so <clears throat> Angela agreed. And uh, we stood up. Now you have to remember. We're in, a, we're in a basketball stadium, and there are 12 to 15,000 people coming in, and there's practice music going on, and I take Angela's hand, and we stand, and her mother is right behind her, and I begin to walk, and we walk just very comfortably, just very, very comfortably. However, we came to one of the ramps that went up to the concession area. And I looked at the ramp, and I looked at Angela, and I looked at her mom, and her mom shakes her head, and Angela shakes her head. And we actually walked up this ramp, which would have been tiring for anybody. And we get to the concessions area on the second floor. And we turn to the left, and I'm still holding Angela's hand, and we start walking behind the concessions and around to the place that we had come to in front of the concessions, and we came across another ramp. And I thought, oh Lord, I'm already puffed. I'm pulling my tie down. I'm thinking, oh my goodness gracious, is this gonna, but I also know, I also know in the very being of myself, and I have also seen others experience wonderful things that happen. And very surprising. And so I looked at the ramp and I looked at Angela. She takes my hand, releases her mother's hand, and she starts to lead up that ramp. Now we're going to the second ramp. Let me, let me tell you, I was puffing, okay? And we went up the second ramp to the concessions on the top floor. And when we got to the concession area on the top floor, Angela turned to the left, released my hand, and started running around the back of the concessions. And her mom is behind me, and here's what I say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In other words, her mom was in agreement. She was just, and she's, she's joyful. And I'm thinking, I've seen this before. I've seen it before. And, you know, if we have to, we can take her bracelet and ring for help, but she ran, and I'm running after her now, around the back of the concession areas to the areas in the front. 
and later, but we stood there and we stood there. Angela was just weeping and her mom was weeping. And she said, Mom, I've been touched. I could never do this before. I could never do this before. And she looked at me and she said, Mr. Capo, what do we do now? I said, I'm going to take you to Dr. Colbert. Dr. Colbert is going to ask you some questions and he is going to find out about you. So we took her downstairs and, <clears throat> uh, and addressed Dr. Don Colbert. You might have heard his name, very popular doctor in the area of these things. And so uh, Dr. Colbert, I'm standing and I'm watching Dr. Colbert examines her just from the standpoint of uh, you know, what her heartbeat was, what the story was, and, and how we could uh, confirm this. And then he said to, to uh, Angela, Angela, what can you do now that you could not do before? And she said, I have never not been able to walk up the ramps that we did, up to the second floor and run, and I've never not been able to do that without falling over an emergency having to take me to the hospital. And he said to her, he said, uh, would you want to walk just a little bit now? And she said, yes. And she took off across that auditorium. And we did not realize this, but there were many people who had been watching her and people that knew that she uh, was uh, needing help. And as she ran around that auditorium, there was an applause that broke out to the entire audience. And it was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful occasion. And I think, that I just am so thankful that I had the opportunity to experience that. Wonderful, wonderful things that happen to wonderful people and surprises. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, guests. It's been my privilege just to share this one testimony with you. Thank you.